Uh, I mean, you know, it's kind of like what I said last time. Uh, as the games go on and as some guys fall down with injuries and stuff, you know, I'm going to keep getting my opportunity. And, uh, I mean, each game, you know, the confidence just builds and builds. The coaches believe in me and the guys are just pushing me to be better. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm ready for it and uh, that's just what I want to go out there and show. What are the conversations that you have with DG about growing as a point guard and learning this league? And what are those like relationships like? Uh, I mean, he's talking to me all the time, whether I'm doing everything right or if I'm doing things wrong. Uh, just staying in my ear, just telling me, just figure out where you're going to live in this game. I mean, in that mid-range area, that's where I'm thriving at the most right now. He's been pretty well at that his whole career. So uh, that's just some of the little things I've been trying to pick up from him uh, and just mimic his game. I mean, because he's all around got it at every level. So, I mean, learning from a guy like that is just a blessing. JB says that you're one of the more composed guys on this team. And you talk about being fifth year and having that maturity and stuff like that. What is that mindset like to just be able to be even killed no matter what's going on in the game? Um, I mean, it's kind of like you said, I mean, having those five years of college, it kind of, I've been in almost every scenario I can be in. Obviously, college is different than the NBA, but uh, I mean, just just understanding that in basketball you're gonna have great games, you're gonna have bad games. It's it's just part of it, and uh, just staying level headed just I feel like keeps me going better than uh, I mean I'm not the type to just throw my hands in the air, get super happy at things, but I mean obviously I'm happy with a lot of the things I do. But uh, just really staying composed just keeps me going and flowing in the game, and that's just something I just try to keep in the back of my head always. Chris, there's a story with the ball. Uh, Don gave me that uh, just career high ball, so I'm gonna make sure I keep that. You got plans for where you're gonna put it? Uh, no, not right now. Uh, I mean, no telling. I might get another career high one soon, so I might have to get rid of that thing. Did, did you realize, Craig, as the game was going on, that that you were sitting on a career high? Did somebody make you aware of that? Uh, I mean, I I can't lie. I obviously look up at the scoreboard all the time. Uh, so I saw once I got past like I think 12 or something. So once I seen that, I was just like, okay, now. Nah. I'm, I'm good. I wasn't really worried about passing it or anything, but really just once we started getting a bigger lead, I was obviously, okay, let's get some milestones. Let's try to do some different things. But at the same time, I like playing basketball in the right way, so I wasn't too worried about it. Okay. Evan Damer, I'll write down you. But, Craig, I mean, I'm sure heading into the NBA or even during training camp in the preseason, you thought, yeah, I'm going to have a career night. But did you think you're going to have one this early into your NBA career? Honestly, uh, no. Uh, I mean, if you look at our team going into training camp, we got every piece we could want. Um, I mean, me being on a two-way, I figured I'd be in the G League, just work my way into it, eventually get a chance and, you know, get some small minutes. But uh, obviously with injuries and stuff, you got to be ready. And uh, that's just one of the things they told me early in the year after training camp and stuff like that. Just be ready. You never know when your number's going to be called. And uh, I just took that to heart, and it, it's, it's been working for me. And what was it tonight that Denver was just kind of throwing at you? Or even the Pistons the other night like, off the bench, just like third bench, you know, like throwing at you. It just kind of helped you find an ease and flow within just offense, defense, everything for the team. Uh, I know when I come into some of these games, I'm probably not on the scouting report. So uh, guys probably don't know how to guard me all the way. So uh, I know in myself uh, going downhill and getting to the basket is one of my strong suits. And uh, once I realized that they couldn't really stop that, I mean, there's no reason to shy away from it do anything else so I just kept going through that over and over. Spence. Spencer Davis got insider. Uh seven free throw attempts tonight, made all seven. Um do you like playing in contact situations? It seemed like you were really getting downhill today. Uh I mean I just li try to live in the paint. I mean layups are the easiest thing to do in the in the game of basketball so I just try to get as many layups or get my teammates as many layups as possible and uh once you get those and you got guys trying to help and, uh, I mean, you just find people that are open on the outside, and it just makes the game easier for everybody. What's something you can do to kind of <coughs> practice playing through that kind of contact and trying to finish and all that? Uh, I mean, I'm the youngest of five, so, I mean, it, it kind of was something I grew up doing. Uh, I mean, I was getting beat up all the time, football, basketball, just everything we did, I was just always the one getting picked on. So, I mean, it's something I was kind of used to, but uh, – I mean, it's it's just like, kind of like I said, it's just whatever works is what I'm going to go to. Last one, Jack. <coughs> uh, Jackson Flickinger right down Euclid. Um, so going back to the summer uh, when you were un undrafted, could you imagine scoring 21 points on the defending champions in a win this early in into your career? I did not. Honestly, uh, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, like you said, I mean, them being the – the team they are and having the accolades they have, uh, just doing that, I mean, it's, it's surprising to me even up to this point, I mean, but 
at the end of the day, I just gotta go out there and just keep doing what I'm doing, and I understand I'm here for a reason, so I just try to make that known. Okay, don't have to create.